Okay, so I think this should be a short video. Um, somebody asked me this question the other day, so I thought if this person has the question, probably some other people do too. So this is just something very basic and again, something quick. So the idea is what is a radian? So for those of you in pre-calculus or even calculus, there's, there's a measure of an angle called a radian. And what exactly is that? So let's talk about it real quick. It shouldn't take too long. So consider the radius of a circle, right? So let's pretend that's the center, and I've got some radius here, r. And if you look at an angle that measures that same value along the edge of the circle, that is one radian. So maybe that's not the clearest way to say it, but let's look at, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take, we're gonna travel around the circle that same distance. So the same distance right here, that we've gone around the circle, that distance is gonna be equal to r. And if we look at that angle that we've now created, that is going to be, that angle is simply one radian. That's all it means. And think about it, right? I mean, radian sounds very similar to radius. And that's how I remember it. So radian and radius, that's, that's what it measures. So one other little thing to talk about. So for those of you that are, again, taking pre-calculus or calculus, if you haven't encountered it yet, you no doubt will. And that's the unit circle. The unit circle is very important in trigonometry. And again, the unit circle is just a circle with radius one. So a lot of us are familiar with degrees, right? And if you, if you make a full revolution, that's 360 degrees, but what would it be in terms of radians if we measure, you know, this entire, this entire circle? Well, we know that the circumference formula for a circle is two pi, two pi times the radius. Well, in this case, the radius is simply equal to one. So the circumference is two pi. So that's why when we do uh, when we talk about the the uh, the measure of the angle all the way around the circle, that's going to be equal to two pi radians. And just like I've drawn it, remember we measure we start from the positive x-axis, and then we move counterclockwise. Well, if the entire distance around is two pi radians, that's why again, well halfway would be pi radians. So pi radians would put you at the negative x-axis. Pi over two radians, that's gonna put you at the positive y-axis. And, okay, and similarly, if we go to the negative y-axis, that's gonna be three pi over two radians. One and a half, right? And that's all a radian is, my friends. So that's all there is to it. For my friend that asked this question, I hope this helps you out. And yeah, just something simple and hopefully it makes some sense for you.